fall. Pray that I will make it home or why. Believing that God, that He will someday save my soul. What He did, and I thought you'd like to know. I thought you'd like to know. All those prayers you pray for me. Pray not a lot that fell to the ground. I know sometimes it looked like I was a man of mine for grace. He answered your prayers. And I thought you liked to know.
started me on another day, another day that I've never seen before. Amen. On this beautiful Mother Day. I'd like to thank all the mothers. I wish all the mothers a happy, happy Mother Day. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, Thank you, know, Jesus. Uh, Only God did. That was an old song that James Brown made. It's a man's world. This is a man's world, but it won't be nothing without a mother. Amen. Amen. It won't be nothing without our, our mothers. Amen. Mothers are, I believe, uh, backbone of our uh, society. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And, uh, well, for mothers. I don't know where the many of us will be today. Amen. One for our mother. And, uh, thank you, Lord. Again, I'd like to thank you, mothers, for this Mother's Day. Amen. The scripture this morning will come from Matthew, 20th chapter. Matthew, the 20th chapter, started at the 17th verse. 17 through 28. 20th chapter. 17 through 28. 20 what? Starting at the 20th chapter. Mm hmm. 17 through the 28. And Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the 12 disciples apart in the way and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death. Mm -hmm. And shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock, to scourge, to crucify him. Mm -hmm. And the third day he shall rise again. Mm -hmm. Then came Jesus to him, the mother of Zebedee, children with her sons, worshiping him, and designed a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She said unto him, Grant that. These may be that these my two sons may sit, one on the right hand and the other on the left hand, in thy kingdom. But Jesus asked and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are you able to drink of this cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said unto him, We are able. He said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it was prepared by my father. Mm -hmm. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brothers. But Jesus said unto them, and said, Ye know that the prince of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority over them. But this shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be the chief among you, let him be your servant. Amen. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. May the Lord bless the reading of this word this morning. Amen. Thank God again for this Mother's Day. Amen. Uh, the title of my subject this morning uh, It's a mother's request. A mother's request. You know, we, 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 we hear here this mother wanted a request from Jesus about her son. Amen. Jesus progressed on, he, Jesus was on his way uh, to uh, Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <coughs> which was in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And that was an interesting conversation between uh, him and the and, uh, disciples. Mm -hmm. Between James and John, interesting conversation. James and John had already heard uh, Peter request one of the special means in Jesus' kingdom on the Mount of Transfiguration. All right. So they wanted to get their picture in also. So Jesus on his way to Jerusalem. The journey is moving quite rapidly now. Mm -hmm. and they are on the way to stop, to, uh, on the way to the last stop 
before they going into Jerusalem. This was the last time before uh, they would get into Jerusalem. Okay. So Luke, Luke tells us that he, Jesus, is uh, taking a more direct uh, route from Galilee to Jerusalem, and it is meant, and it's meant to going through Samaria. Mm -hmm. The Samaritans had a long-standing feud with anyone going, going to Jerusalem, especially the Jews, and the Jews had a problem with their heritage, and uh, they could not come together on where uh, they should worship God. Mm -hmm. The Jews worshiped uh, at the temple in Jerusalem, and Samaria had a made another place to worship, had, had another place to worship. Mm -hmm. Though the same place today, many times today we can't get together on that. I said, we can't get together on that. Amen. We, 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 we uh, think our uh, church is better than somebody else's church. That's Amen. Right. And, uh, Amen. We think uh, our religion is better than somebody else's religion. Amen. Amen. But we need to come together. Amen. And I said, we need to come together. Amen. When Jesus and his disciples got to Samaritan, they sought lodging at the first village that they entered. But the Samaritan would not help them or even welcome them. It is here that James and John came to be known as the sons of thunder. Yes. They asked Jesus to call them fire and thunder to destroy the city for rejecting them and, and being disrespectful. Yes. Uh, Jesus rebuked them for acting against the plan of salvation. Yes. So you can't stand in, in God's plan and George's way. Yes. Yes. You, you, yes. You can't get you can't uh, stand uh, in the way of God's plan. Amen. No matter how hard you try. That's right. Amen. I said, no matter how hard you try, you can't alter God's plan. Amen. Uh, if God got something for you, can nobody stop it. Amen. If God opened the door for you, can nobody close it. Amen. And though that somebody closed, if you can't open, God can get it open. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. God's plan. You see, uh, uh, from Genesis to the end of the world, God set a motion, uh, a trajectory that will not and cannot be altered. Amen. Amen. You know, heard a whole lot of people say, uh, well, if uh, Adam and Eve had sinned in, in God of Eden, we would be living in paradise. We wouldn't be able to die. But God knows from the beginning of the world that they were going to sin. He knows from the beginning. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You don't need to say that. God Amen. knew what was going to happen from, from the very foundation of the world. Amen. He knew that they were going to sin in the Garden of Eden. Come on, come on. You see, God, God wanted somebody, he, he wanted to uh, have a choice for, for, to serve him. Amen. He, he gave you a choice. He's giving you a choice. He gives you a choice. Tell it. Jesus. Tell it. He, wanted, he don't want to make you serve him. Tell he right. gives you a choice. Amen. Amen. You better tell it. Amen. You better Amen. say it. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank Earlier, you. Uh, as they made their way to Jerusalem by way of Samaritan Jesus, and that's the disciples. Who the men said that I am? Mm -hmm. uh, there were a few uh, uh, villages back before they got to uh, suburban. Uh, Jesus Man. was inquiring, who the people said that I am? Uh -huh. And uh, uh, in Matthew 15, 15, that was, uh, 16, 15, that was Jesus was asking Peter. Mm -hmm. So Peter spoke up quickly and said, thou son, thou son of, thou uh, the son of God. Amen. Amen. In Matthew 16, 16, Peter said, Thou art son, thou art the son of God. Amen. So Peter spoke with that haste. And uh, he said, You surely the son of God. Mm -hmm. And Peter revealed uh, the true identity uh, uh, of Jesus. Amen. But Jesus warned that the disciples not to publicize uh, his mm -hmm. confession. Amen. And Jesus didn't want them to publicize his confession because they wouldn't understand the kind of Messiah that, uh, that he had come to be. Amen. Amen. They weren't ready to uh, to under, they weren't ready to understand the, the kind of Messiah he would come to be. Amen. Uh, they wanted a military leader, mm -hmm. but but God, uh, Jesus sent His Son to be a suffering servant. Amen. He was a suffering servant. Mm -hmm. They, the disciples, would have to come to a full understanding of their mission as disciples before they could tell proclaim it to others. They didn't understand themselves. Amen. If you don't understand something, you'll say, "How are you going to explain it to somebody else?" Amen. 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 You know, Jesus, you know, uh, uh, they didn't understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't uh, want to cause a rebellion because uh, uh, they would have difficult understanding what he, Jesus, had came to do. Until mm -hmm. they, they would have, they would understand fully what Jesus came to do until his mission, his mission was complete. Amen. Until he had died 
Amen. 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 But why right on? God. Thank you. But why right on the journey to Jerusalem? It again, is here that Jesus predicted himself for the first time. Mm -hmm. It is where Jesus praised and then rebuked Peter in the same breath. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter had just eloquently proclaimed Jesus' true identity and sought to protect him from the suffering that Jesus prophesied. Mm -hmm. But if Jesus had not suffered, I say if Jesus had not suffered and died, Amen. Peter would have died in his sins. Amen. We all would have died in our sins. Amen. So you can't alter God's plan. Amen. So back to the journey. Tell it, tell it. Back to the journey to Samaritan. Uh, they were more concerned about being rejected and not being honored. Mm -hmm. Again, by asking Jesus to bring them found the Samaritan, they uh, were losing focus on the main issue. What Jerusalem? The main issue was Jerusalem mm -hmm. and his death. The main issue was Jerusalem and his death. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, wanted revenge. The disciples wanted revenge uh, uh, because the Samaritan did not were not being hospitable mm -hmm. right. and respectful. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans twelve nine said, "Do not take revenge." Leave some room for uh, God's wrath. For it is written, "It is mine," said the Lord. I will. Yeah. Seeking revenge is selfish mm -hmm. and prideful because we are responding to our own hurt. Amen. We want the one that hurt us to hurt it bad. Jesus. Amen. Come on. Jesus God. rebuked them for this was an act of judgment Jesus. on the part of James and John. Yes. Their mission was one of self. It was on a mission of salvation, not on a mission of judgment. While on their way to their destination, mm -hmm. Jesus called the twelve to him and tries for the third time mm -hmm. to inform them what is going to happen in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. They still had the third time. They still had comprehend what Jesus was talking about. Amen. Right. Uh, Amen. Uh, 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 he said uh, much of the same thing the third time he did the first time. Amen. About his death. Amen. Matthew seemed to divide uh, the text into two sections here, though. Mm -hmm. Verse seventeen and nineteen. Tells us of Jesus uh, speaking, his, speaking uh, to his disciples about his death. Mm -hmm. In verse uh, 20 and 28 here, James and John's mother. I said James and John's mother makes uh, uh, a request to Jesus. Mm -hmm. It seemed as if the earlier words about uh, his death went on the hill, unnoticed. The request was about uh, when Jesus set his kingdom up, which disciples uh, uh, would be in the physical uh, kingdom, mm -hmm. in his physical kingdom. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, here, like any other mother, wanted the best for her sons. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, you want the best for your sons. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And uh, it wasn't nothing wrong with her request. Uh, she just didn't all know what she uh, was talking about. They didn't understand. Uh, they thought Jesus would come to set up a earthly kingdom, and uh, you know they didn't understand it, that the kingdom he was going to set up was an earthly kingdom. Amen. So early, the sons of thunder uh, are rebuked by Jesus with because of the unruly town, because of some earth. They are rebuked. Now they uh, have made a request. A request for all intense purpose, offer all in intense purpose. Mm -hmm. Let us be the greatest in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. They had heard Peter, like I said before, they had heard Peter's request. They had heard this twice, and perhaps they felt they should make their request now. Amen. They had started, they had started off badly, so they could, uh, uh, they wanted to do what uh, they could do to improve their chances. Mm -hmm. So they resort to a childish means. You know, uh, uh, you know, when I was a child, I, I, if I wanted something, I would go to my parents, and they uh, one said no, I would go to the other one. Amen. And the other one said yes, and I would go to the one that said yes, try to get the one who said yes, convince the one that said no. <laughs> uh, that's what was happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a child's way and uh, play one, one person off and get the other one. Amen. So James and John's mother are with them during this part of the journey. If you think it's hard to say no to a mother, try saying no to my mother. 
was almost impossible. Uh, 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 almost impossible. And, uh, you know, uh, I can imagine what went along the, uh, that day. Uh, I'm paraphrasing this. Uh, mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, James and John's mother, along the way, uh, catch up to Jesus. Hey, 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 but Jesus, uh, you're looking kind of thin today. Uh, the boy treating you right. You need to come by my house and I'll fix you a good meal. So you're trying to butt Jesus up here. <laughs> fix you a good meal. Uh, you need my boy to help you with, uh, with your new kingdom. They're smart. They're better than the other fishermen. Mm -hmm. uh, they're hard workers. I tell them what to do and they do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and they don't talk back. Uh, but you better put them in the right, put one on the right and put the other one on the left side. Mm -hmm. When you set up your kingdom, uh, I have you. I have a talk with you again. Mm -hmm. I have two. Uh, they have two older brothers. One named Bubba, <laughs> and another one named Cash. Family affair. So <laughs> In reality, it wasn't like that. <laughs> so in reality, it wasn't like that. But that, at the Thank time you. of her request, mm -hmm. was irresponsible and selfish. Mm -hmm. So long or was related to she was she was somehow related to Mary, mm -hmm. and. Most likely one of the first to be at the tomb on Resurrection Monday. Through Jesus, when it, it came to her boy, she wanted the best for her. There was nothing wrong. She wanted the best for her boy. Yeah. You, know, you want the best for your children. Mm -hmm. well, that's wrong with it. She wanted the best for her boys. The response uh, to give us, and this way going to give me the meat of the sermon. This way, uh, first, he asked if they could follow what he is doing. Mm -hmm. He said, can you follow what I'm doing? So this, uh, 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 what Jesus was trying to say, that uh, do you know what you asked them? Do you have any idea uh, uh, what you asked them? You want to drink from the same cup that I'm drinking? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, had they known of the agony in Gethsemane, they would not have been so quick to answer. Amen. If they had known the agony Amen. that he was going to face in Gethsemane. Amen. They didn't realize it, but uh, there was a missing part of their life that would not allow them to be able to drink from the cup at this time, at that time. They weren't able to drink from the cup at that time. Mm -hmm. The Bible speaks of seven uh, different cups. Mm -hmm. I said the Bible speaks of seven uh, different cups. Mm -hmm. First cup, Gethsemane cup. Mm -hmm. Matthew 20, uh, 6, 20. Uh, this cup is about uh, submission. Mm -hmm. It means to follow him uh, no matter what. Mm. You can drink, uh, can you this morning drink from the cup, his cup today? Are you willing to do anything he asks you to do? Mm -hmm. No matter where uh, it might take you this morning. Are you willing to drink from this cup? Mm -hmm. The second cup was leadership cup. Mm -hmm. Matthew 20, 2022. 20, this cup is about service. Mm -hmm. Were James and John uh, ready to drink from this cup? Mm -hmm. Are we ready to drink from this cup today? Mm -hmm. You want special parking places? Mm -hmm. You want honors and you want titles? Mm -hmm. And you expect reverency? Mm -hmm. This is not the marking of a ministry success. Amen. Doing service work is what Jesus is looking for. Mm -hmm. So you need to take this cup in your community to the hurting, to the need, Preach. and uh, to the poor. Mm -hmm. This is why you need to take your cup. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Amen. You don't need to be concerned so much mm -hmm. about honors and titles. Mm -hmm. God ain't concerned. Uh, about your title. That's Amen. Right. I, was in, I was in Bible study last week, mm. and this woman said, a man was sitting beside her, and uh, he asked her what for her name. And uh, she said, Pastor so and so. Mm. The man said, Pastor, Pastor your name. <laughs> <laughs> and she got mad because uh, she did, they, he, didn't, he didn't honor her by the name of Pastor. Mm. But do we, uh, God, Want you uh, to do what is right. Mm -hmm. You're not concerned about your titles. That's, That's right. right. That's You're not concerned right. about your uh, position. Amen. Amen. You want Amen. you to do what is right. Amen. Amen. The third cup is 
community cup. Yes, yes. This cup is about uh, covenant. Mm -hmm. yes. about the price that was paid for our salvation. Yes. The four cup is a cup of spirit. Yes, yes. It's about the overflowing cup, the spirit that is flowing out of you. Yes. Can they see the spirit glow that and radiate from you today? Amen. Can they see God's spirit on your face? Amen. The fifth cup is about is the marriage super, supper cup. Mm -hmm. Matthew 26, 28, 29. Mm -hmm. This cup is about eternity. Yes. And the experience of sharing in the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yes. yes. Are you ready to share in uh, the supper with the Lamb of God? Yes, yes. Jesus knew what he was ahead of him. Mm -hmm. I said Jesus knew what was ahead of him. Mm -hmm. uh, they either didn't understand or didn't listen to when Jesus told them of his upcoming death. Mm -hmm. Jesus knows what is in the cup he is about to drink from. Mm -hmm. So in his cup, it, it contains the sins of the world. Mm -hmm. It contains his father's undiluted wrath mm -hmm. against those sins which would uh, cause his death. Mm -hmm. this, cup, this cup that he was about to drink from was so toxic that they called Jesus to plead in the gas assembly. Mm. Hallelujah. In Matthew 26, 29, going a little further, Tell me Jesus fell down on his face mm -hmm. and prayed to my father, my father. Yes, yes. It is possible may you take this cup from me. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. not my will, but thy will. Thy will. They didn't understand uh, mm. the cup that they wanted to drink from. Mm -hmm. If Jesus didn't want to drink from the cup, yes. surely these disciples would not be able to drink from the cup. Amen. I've always uh, believed that the plea came more from the human nature. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of Jesus, but we cannot say for sure mm -hmm. any more than it came uh, from the divine nature. Yes, the yes, son, uh, yes. The Son of God asked the yes. Father to let this cup pass from him. Uh -huh. Yet James and John showed no fear of taking it. Uh -huh. It is no wonder Jesus told them they mm -hmm. didn't know what they was talking about. Mm -hmm. Eventually, two James and John would drink from the cup. Mm -hmm. I say eventually. They were yes. great from this cup. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Acts 12 recorded that James mm -hmm. was the first of the 12 to die for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Harold Agrippa, mm -hmm. the grandson of Harold that tried to kill Jesus mm -hmm. when he was an infant, mm -hmm. had, arrested, had, had James arrested and then beheaded, beheaded by his soul. Yeah. And the God that was, was with him mm -hmm. became so uh, deeply uh, affected by James' uh, confession. Mm -hmm. God also went and had his head beheaded. Had mm -hmm. his head beheaded. Mm -hmm. And uh, John was called to drink from the cup more slowly. Mm -hmm. I said John was called to drink from the cup more slowly. Come on now. The first it recorded in Acts, on, uh, in Acts chapter 5 where he was, beaten. he was beaten for preaching about Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Roman em emperor uh, later on had John arrested mm -hmm. and attempted to execute him by boiling him in water. Mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. But John survived and he was then exiled to the island of Patmos where he uh, uh, stayed there for a while and he died in Ephesians. Mm -hmm. His story mm -hmm. said around the age of 80. Mm -hmm. He explained that the world looks to prestige and promotion. To uh, mock success you get a better job. Mm -hmm. I got a job better than yours. Mm -hmm. I got bigger promotion. My promotion is bigger than your promotion. Mm -hmm. I'm head of this company. I'm head of, mm -hmm. I'm the CEO of this company. Mm -hmm. uh, I make more money than other people make. Mm -hmm. I may have bells and pussies in my home. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said that greatness is not measured in your possession. Amen. I said greatness is not measured in your possession. Amen. But by servanthood. Mm -hmm. Later he would give the disciples an object lesson yeah. on the fact at the Last Supper he would go around and wash their feet. Yes. Their dirty, with new accorded feet. Yes. This is the job reserved for the lowest of the slaves. Yes. After he had finished, he said uh, to the disciples. Yes. When he had heard, when he had finished washing their feet. Yes. He put on the clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? Yes. He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, mm -hmm. and rightly so. Mm -hmm. For that I am, for that what I am. Mm -hmm. Now that I am your teacher, and I am your Lord and teacher, mm -hmm. have washed your feet. You also say should wash one another's feet. Amen. That's what he said. I have set you an example mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. that you should do as I have done unto you. Amen. I was talking to a woman last week. She, uh, see, some woman told her that she, uh, somebody did her, hit, hit, uh, did her some harm. Not her directly, but some people that she knows did some people directly. And she uh, said she can't forgive this man. Mm. She ain't forgive him. And uh, she said she didn't know why she was going to heaven or hell. Mm. She ain't gonna, she's not going to forgive the man. Well, I told her, I said, well, I said, I said uh, uh, according to the Bible, she probably won't get in heaven. <laughs> so I, said, uh, I said, Jesus, uh, did she believe in what Jesus said? Yeah. Believe in the Bible? That yeah, Jesus said that uh, mm -hmm. you need to forgive. Amen. I said, you need to forgive. Amen. Uh, and I said, did, uh, Jesus, he came and he said an example. He said, I am the way. Amen. He said, I am the way. Mm -hmm. You're going to follow Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Right. He said, no man, no or man. woman, going to get into heaven except through him by me. Amen. So if you don't do what he, he did, you ain't going to get to heaven. Amen. Amen. And Amen. If you can't forgive, then you're not going to go to heaven. Amen. That's just, that's just plain as day. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so Jesus uh, was telling his disciples and others that we must be servants to people around us. That we must live the gospel instead of just speaking about it. We, we need to live the gospel. We don't need to run our mouth all the time talking about this and that. Or right. uh, I did this and that. You need, we need to live the gospel. You need to be a, a walking billboard of the gospel. Right. Amen. Right. You need to be a walking billboard of the gospel. Thank Amen. You. Why are you going to be talking so much? You ain't never did nothing. Though. Come on now. Tell talk, it. talk, talk, talk. Come on, tell it. Well, we live in a world where uh, that's uh, so anti-Christian that, uh, it all, like I said, it's already uh, seeped into the church. Amen. Come on. Uh, this through a wonderful opportunity. It shows a wonderful opportunity uh, 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 what gospel is all about. We need that's to show right. people what gospel is all about. Come right. on. Show, I said show, not talk about it. Hallelujah. We need to show. Amen. By our action. Amen. By our action. Amen. Matthew 20, 28 said, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Amen. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. He came to serve. Amen. You know, in the whole lot of today, you know, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. Amen. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it, but a, a preacher can't carry his own Bible. Amen. Come on, somebody. I mean, uh, <laughs> he can't put his... Uh, uh, he can't do nothing. He got to have somebody walking around here and carrying his own power. Amen. Amen. You know, you know. That ain't I don't right. understand. That, that people do what they want to do. Amen. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, you know, he, he, it seems to me that, uh, that he got somebody serving him. He should be serving his other person. Hallelujah. That's what it seems to me. That. That's all. So Truth Jesus went on to say that to be Truth great, free. you must become a servant or a slave. Amen. So to be great, you might become a servant or a slave. Amen. Jesus wants each of us to model his action by washing the feet of disciples. Yes. To be servant to God. Yes. Not just man. He wants to be yes. servant to God, not the man. Yes. Amen. Yes. When we work, uh, when we work, we do not work for our employer, but we work for God. Amen. So we work for God. So, so second best must be uh, uh, doesn't count. That's right. Uh, we can we can't cut no corner. We shouldn't cut no corner. We, this is the easy way. Mm -hmm. But we must strive to do our best. Yes. As a testimony to the Lord. Amen. So as a testimony to the Lord. You know, I when I was working, uh, the you asked me, said you, uh, you know, I, I try to do my best to my for my employees when I was working. They would ask me, uh, they would do some things. Say, ain't you afraid? What they gonna say? I said, no. Nope. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I said, no, I'm not afraid of what they're going to do. I said, they can't do no more to me what God allowed them to do. Amen. They can't do no more to a God child of what God allowed them to do. Come on, tell it. And if God allowed them to do, then, you know, just accept it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus called us Thank to be, you. Jesus called us to be bond servant for God. Paul teaches that in 1 Corinthians. Though I am free and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone. Come on now. To win as many as possible. Amen. Come on. The bond slave is an Old Testament concept. Mm -hmm. Slave was under obligation for, to work for the master for six years. Mm -hmm. And in the seven years, they were once again free. Slaves mm -hmm. were treated well during uh, this time and Amen. could choose to remain under the employment of their master permanent, mm -hmm. according to Exodus 21. Mm -hmm. The master would take the slave to a wooden dope post and pierce his ear in front of the judge. The slave, then would wear an Aryan 
as a sign of a loving commitment to the master. Mm -hmm. You and I become bond slaves to mm -hmm. God when we accept him as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our ears pierced through, our ears through not, were not pierced, our hands and feet were not. Mm -hmm. He hung on the cross with his yes. life blood draining. Mm -hmm. He said, God, Jesus hung on the cross with his life blood draining mm -hmm. from his body mm -hmm. so that internal life could be made possible for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our passage ends here. Jesus said that he gave his life as a ransom for many. Yes, yes. So ransom are paid because of kidnapping. Yes. You and I were kidnapped spiritually at the time of the fall. Mm. We were held under the duress of sin. That's right. So we were held under the duress of sin. With no way to escape, <coughs> we had no future. Mm -hmm. Just the darkness of captivity. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died, mm -hmm. I said, when Jesus died, uh, mm -hmm. they, they on the cross, he paid a ransom and released us from captivity mm -hmm. of sin. Mm -hmm. He released us from the captivity of sin. Mm -hmm. It was a ransom paid to God, the Father. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 5 2 1. Follow God's example. Therefore, as dirty beloved children, and walk in the way of the Lord, just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. John Piper said, uh, our sins had and they were kidnapped. Mm -hmm. We kidnapped us and put us in prison of our own making. So sin will, sin will put you in a prison of your own making. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, far from God uh, in the chains of iniquity, mm -hmm. under God's holy wrath, and powerless to free ourselves. One of the image of the Bible used for our liberation is ransom, a ransom that had to be paid. The ransom that was paid by Jesus on Calvary, and he commissioned us to act as he did that day. Amen. So saints, we must not be consumed with our position. Mm -hmm. We must not be consumed with our power. We must not be consumed with our possession. Hallelujah. We must not be consumed with our looks. We must not be consumed with our prosperity. We must not be consumed with our permanency. We must not be consumed with internet. We must not be consumed with cell phone. We must not be consumed with cable TV. We must not be consumed with fast food. All these things lead to pride. And pride leads to a great fall. We must be willing to give our all without desiring the glory. So we must be willing to give all without desiring the glory. About somebody had to tell me uh, how good that you were doing. Amen. You might be willing to do what no one wants to do, but what Christ had commanded us to do. Amen. We might be willing to surrender, yes. submit, to serve, and to sacrifice to accomplish the Father's will. <coughs> we must overcome childish with the servant heart of Christ. Amen. We must become Jeez. as children, as child heart. Amen. Amen. We must Thank be willing Jesus. to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. What God has commanded us to do. Amen. In this Sunday, may you be blessed on this Mother's Day. Thanks. May God forever be with you. Thank you. May God be with you. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank thee for this day. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank thee, O God, for yes, Lord. Thank what you. you have done this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank, thank you, God, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, God, for opening your ears mm, up, mm, Lord. Mm, for yes, those who was here this morning, for those that are not here. God, ask you to guide us as we leave this place today. Yes, Be with us, oh Father. Direct our first to keep us under your mercy of oh, love, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. And that's all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God.